Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and I'm about to do another set of base reviews for you guys. I'm sitting outside on lunch right now, um, so if you hear people driving by, that's what's going on. But anyways, um, I have four bases for us to review. I did have five, but one of you guys, Possums is your name, you keep changing clans, man, so I, I can't review your base. You commented like seven times, and then I went to the newest comment and you weren't in that clan so um, if you guys want to be reviewed then you have to have to have to have to stay in your base or else I'm not gonna do it because it's just it just it just takes up my time looking um, so yeah but let's go ahead and jump into this first off we have Shadaz from farm time Shadaz man I'm sorry I know that you've been waiting for this for a while and I keep on missing it um, so I'm sorry about that but you are first today so um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Scroll down to right here. Shadaz. Check them out. Um, Alright, so as it loads, we zoom out and we see that you are a Town Hall 8. And initially, this is a farming base. Um, I like the layout of the base. I like what I'm seeing with your wizard towers being maxed out. That's freaking awesome. Same with your mortars. Level 6, level 6. Level 6, alright, so those are all maxed, perfect. That's one thing that I um, say all the time is that splash damage being maxed is the most important and you have done that to the fullest, so A plus with that, man. Um, also, your air defenses, shoot, you're upgrading them even more. Um, I think that you're good with your air defense right now at level 5. I know you're already upgrading those, um, but I wouldn't upgrade them again for a while because as long as you keep them in there protected, you're going to be good. Um, you should definitely go and upgrade your archer towers next um, or your cannons. The thing about those is that the cannons take less time and they're cheaper, but the damage upgrade is the exact same as archer towers for the level. So I would go cannons first, personally. Um, it looks like you have all level 9 cannons. Yeah, this one's wor working its way up to level 10. Um, so all I'm saying is that I wouldn't upgrade your air defenses anymore um, for a while. Those are higher than most Town Hall 9 air defenses. <laughs> So good job with that. I mean, it's awesome that you're doing it. Um, good job there. Uh, I'm not sure what all this extra space is in here next to your clan castle and your storage. Maybe there's bombs in there or something. Um, I feel like I would tighten that up somehow. It looks like it's wasting space, and you could bring this gold storage on the right um, in closer because I, I don't. that's not a good spot for that gold storage. It should, it should definitely take the place of... Um, of this elixir storage. Maybe put the gold right here where that elixir storage is and then the other gold right here where this air defense is and then move this air defense up to that where that gold storage is. Um, I might even think about putting a mortar in the middle but they're, your mortars are pretty well protected so um, I'm okay with that especially with how high level your defenses are. Um, your clan castle is in the middle so that's awesome. It's full of archers. You know I love to see that. Um, archers are probably my favorite troop besides the healer. <laughs> um, so good job having that in the middle, man. If you're in an active clan, you need to have your clan castle in the middle because it pretty much covers your whole base, as you can see from that ring right there. Um, so good, good job with that. Um, I don't really see anything else that I would tell you to do. It looks like you have a little trap right here and maybe a trap right in there next to that. Um, so that's good. Man, the base looks good overall. Uh, looks like you're going to be upgrading to Town Hall 9 pretty soon once you're archer towers and cannons are done so good job with that man awesome job Shadaz that was definitely uh, worth reviewing um, some people just came outside to eat so that's what that noise is alright next we're going to the M oops M dot O dot B we're going to the mob and we're going to be looking for uh, where is he Come on. Did I pass him? Sorry about this, guys. He was just in here. Um, yeah, he was just freaking in here. <coughs> I really hope he didn't leave. Uh, Mexi Mexicla, whatever the heck your name is. Um... Yeah, guys, this is just a perfect example of, like, me wasting my time. Um, please don't request and then leave your clan. It's frustrating for me um, because I'm trying to do these things for you guys. But, yeah, if you request, stay in your clan. Um, 
at least for a day because it seems like a lot of you leave <laughs> like right after you post um all right so next we have the last dragons and we're going down here to um whoop. we're going right down here to do what i do um and let's jump in here and see how his base is so he is a town hall eight as well very very well upgraded um i love to see these mortars centralized as well as that clan castle man your base would crush mine right now, and I'm Town Hall 8. <laughs> um, so, good job. with. I like to see these level 8 walls on the intersections. Um, I imagine that's where you get attacked the most, and after watching your replays, you've decided to put them there. So, awesome job with that. Um, your air defenses are upgrading. I think that level 4 is perfectly fine. All your wizard towers are maxed. All your mortars are maxed. All your cannons are maxed. Yep, all your cannons are maxed. Man, there's honestly nothing left you can really do with this base. It looks like your your Dark Elixir has 10,000 in it right now. Um, I guess you can protect that. You wouldn't lose too much if someone attacked it. Um, obviously, you don't really care too much about Elixir, which is fine. Once you get up there, gold's definitely way more important. Um, so good job with that. I'm not sure what's in these little gaps right here. Uh, maybe you have Teslas or something along those lines, um, which is a good place for them up near the front by your uh, wizard towers. But man, looking at this, I honestly can't think of anything I would change. Um, it just seems like there's a bunch of gaps in your base, like right here. I, I might try and tighten that up somehow. And you are protecting um, your collectors, which I normally speak against protecting collectors. Um, so I don't know. I might break those up, get rid of the collectors, and use the walls uh, to maybe separate things more. Like you could move this dark elixir storage up and then bring a wall right down here through the middle um actually that yeah that sounds like a good idea if you can get rid of some of these storages um just add another section to that center console so that people can't um get in there as easily i love to see a level eight barbarian king dude that's awesome for town hall eight good job there um you've upgraded really really well it looks like you're about ready for town hall nine as well so um good job on your base man the layout's the layout's good. I definitely give it an A. There's just a couple of things I might change, like adding that wall in the center. Um, and yeah, man, looks like you're almost there. All you have to upgrade are your archer towers. Wow. But it, it's good that those were the last thing that you upgraded. I agree with that decision. Um, so upgrade those, and then it seems like you will be good to go. So do what I do. You are definitely doing what you do. <laughs> All right, and then next we have clap traps. Clap traps. That might be one word. Um, no, it's right here. All right, and then we are going to Beast Boss Co. down here at the bottom. Right there, Beast Boss Co. Let's check you out. You're level 49. So I imagine you're Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8. Um, well, your Town Hall is actually gone, and yep, it was Town Hall 7. Um, so here's our first Town Hall 7 base for this review. Um, so I like seeing the clan castle in the middle, obviously, and it has archers in it. You know, I love that. Um, these mortars shouldn't be out here that far. That's not that's not a good place for them. You definitely need to figure out how to bring those in. Um, and then these walls over here, uh, they seem like they're kind of pointless. Um, so I would try and figure out a way to make your base wider so that maybe you can uh, bring your mortars in tighter and scoot some other stuff around. Um, your wizard towers are leveling up, as are your cannons. Nice, so your cannons are maxed. Um, good job with your cannons. I don't know what you were spelling over here, <laughs> but definitely use all your walls on your base. Um, let's see what else. Your archer tower, that's a level 8, that's pretty good. These are level 5, that one's a level 4. Definitely upgrade that next. Um, I can't stress enough how important splash and wizard uh, damage is. Um, but when you have these out here, if you see a little red ring around it. If someone's attacking that wall right there, your mortar is not going to do any damage to it because it's within that ring. Um, and that's the same with this one. So that's not an effective use of mortars. They should be centralized more. Um, and that way they they work the best because once people come in here and start attacking the wall, all you have over here is a cannon. Your, your mortar is completely ineffective. Um, so use these walls better. Um, you have random gaps in here. I imagine there's a Tesla right there. 
Um, but it all just seems kind of random. You've done a good job of upgrading your defenses, um, but now it's just going to be organizing and keeping your um, mortars and your wizards centralized. Um, one thing that you'll hear is people talking about triangulating your mortars um, and, your, and your air defenses as well, which is really, really good. So definitely think about that. You're doing a good job of upgrading, but as I said, um, your mortars are useless right on the walls um, because for anything but archers, they're not going to be able to do anything against them. So work on that, and then I think that you will be good. Overall, um, it's good to see that you're upgrading stuff as you are, and it's also good to see that you have your clan castle and air defense in the middle. Um, I would just switch things up with your mortars. Um, those are more important than the rest of your defenses, honestly. Uh, so work on that, and I think you'll be good. But let's go back to my base real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with the triangulating of the of the mortars. You can see mine right here. They're in a little triangle. Um, and then the same thing with my wizards. My wizards are in a triangle as well. That way they cover the most of your base. So Beast Boss, if you do that, I think that you will be good, man. Um, and guys, that concludes this uh, base review episode. If you didn't get reviewed, um, it's either because you left your clan or because um, it's just not time yet. <laughs> so comment below on this video only. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do bases that are commented on other videos because I'm not looking for them there. So comment on this one and then, um, yeah, give me your clan name, your in-game name, and also your clan shield so that I can find you. But anyways, guys, this is Malt. Thanks again, as always, for being so much cooler than me. You guys rock. Thanks for all the subs lately. Um, comment below, and I'll see you guys soon. Keep calm and clash on. Later, guys.